and the wages of sin is death, and death is the absence of life, um, it would be impossible for what, what uh, the Hellfire Doctrine teaches is that uh, the wicked also get eternal life, they just spend it in torment. I mean, that, that actually goes right against the scripture. We have in the, in the beginning, in the Genesis, that it says in it, um, that from dust you were created, dust you will return. We have here in the book of Romans, the wages of sin is death. Simple. Uh, not in a place of eternal torment. Um, but the gift of Elohim is everlasting life through Yahshua the Messiah. So those that accept him and come into the truth have a chance for eternal life. And also, there will be a great resurrection of all those that died without having the truth. And this is the majority of the human race. I mean, we have to think of how few people the real truth has actually has actually reached in this world. I mean, you know, because of religion, yeah, there's, there's billions of Christians, but have they found the truth? Is, there's so much more to it than accepting Yahshua as your Savior. We have to accept Him as our King and follow Him. And in fact, His nation is yet to be gathered. We are the gathering of Israel. We are seeing it in our time. So we've got to come out of Babylon. And this immortality of the soul is the original lie and is taught in every religion. It's taught in Christianity. It's taught in many branches of Judaism because they inherited it from the Greek Hellenism that came into their culture under the, um, after the, in the Alexander Empire. Also in Babylon, I mean, it was everywhere. So every, every world power, every place outside of the truth has taught this immortality of soul, showing that the devil is behind all of this. So we, we see it in, in Taoism, we see it in, in Buddhism, we see it in Hinduism. Uh, all, all these people, they, you know, they just accept that your body, uh, some people say their body is a vehicle transporting your soul, but that's false. The body is, is part of the soul. We are, we were, when we became alive, we are alive, we are living. Every, every person that's living is a soul. They do not have a soul. So I, I wanted to, let's think about that. David was dead and buried even to that day. Now, um, it, it says in another place in Ezekiel that all souls are mine, says your way. Every, all lives are his. And the, the ones that sin, they will die. Mm -hmm. Now, since, since all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Most High, uh, it's only through Yahshua the Messiah that they could, they could be set free. So, again, Sheol is the common grave of mankind. It's Hades in the Greek. But then some people are going to ask, uh, what about um, the places that it, that it refers to, like, like um, the lake of fire or the place, of, it sounds like a place of torment. And this uh, many times is actually translated, um, it's also translated hell in the King James Bible. And, and there, but there is a fiery, there is a fiery, there is a fiery, um, excuse me, there, was a, there is a fiery uh, reference there. Okay, this actually is, a, is actually normally the word Gehenna. And Gehenna um, is a Greek word that goes back to the Hebrew word Gehenum, which is the valley of Hinnom, which is a place outside of Jerusalem where they, where they would burn uh, objects they would burn things that you know trash and and fugitives and these things it was, a, it was a place of fire where things got thrown a place of refuge and trash so when someone gets discarded to Gehenna this is this is basically a symbol showing us that that uh, when you when you go into the place of eternal fire you're not ever coming out but for the everyone who's ever lived that, that gets to come gets a chance at a resurrection Yahshua says there's there will come a time when everyone that's that's uh in the grave will come forth and hear his voice. So we say we see here that um, Psalms 146 verse 4 says this, his spirit goes out, speaking of the dead, his spirit goes out and he returns to the ground and on that day his thoughts perish. So there's no, no thoughts, there's no pain, there's no suffering. We have to vindicate our Father's name here. If this is true, then all of the hell, all of the fire, fiery references like are, are symbolic are to teach us that there is a place where there will be a, a place of no return. When someone, um, once they have been proven wicked, they would never return, but there is no pain. It says uh, he will sweep them with the, with the broom of destruction. Now, you know, like the rich man of Lazarus par parable, it's a parable, you can't take it literal. The, um, like in Revelations 14, where it says here, let's go to it. Mm -hmm. 
Revelations 14 says, And the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever, and they shall have no rest day or night. Okay, th this is, again, symbolic. We have, to, we have to really look at the book of Revelations is full of symbols. And it's showing us that there will be no return for the wicked. One, you know, and the, the wicked that go down, um, there will be uh, a judgment. There, things will, will come to pass and there will be a point of no return for, for the wicked. And we should obey the Most High. We that have the truth, we have to put Him first because the only unforgivable sin is the sin against the Holy Spirit. Now, you know, so look at these things. And it also says in Revelations, in Revelations 20 that there is um, a lake of fire. And, and um, this, this will be where after the people are resurrected, the ones that prove wicked, they will be cast there. And it says, uh, in, in verse 10 it says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are, and they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Now th this, is, this is not to be taken literal. Your way doesn't, he's not going to keep the devil alive forever and torment him. No, that's, that's a terrible thought. But the, the torment is for them to know that they are never coming back, that they are, once they are gone, they'll be done away with forever. And uh, th this, is what it, this is what it's talking about. And in verse 14, it says, Death and, and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, or the grave. So we see here that um, even hell, if you want to use that word, was cast into the lake of fire. So it will be burnt up. So basically, there will be no more, no more place of death. There will be no more graves. There will be no, none of these things. Will be, everything will be done away with. The resurrection will be complete. And we see here that your way is 100% consistent. We see here in Ecclesiastes 9, 5, and then I'm also going to read ver uh, chapter, verse 10, 9, 5, and 10. The living know that they shall die, but the dead know nothing at all. Whatever your hands find to do, do with all your might, for there is no work, nor planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave. Okay? So Yahshua teaches us this. This is, I mean, Solomon, but Yahshua, you know, came to reveal these things also. And it also says in Acts 24, 15, there is going to be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous, okay? And John, John teaches us here, John 5, 28 and 29, do not be amazed at this, for the hour is coming in which all those in the tombs will hear his voice and come out. So there will be a great resurrection, and as, as King David was dead and buried, it's still to the, the day of the, the disciples, um, so many years later that uh, he had, was waiting his resurrection and he had died in Adam and he was going to come to life in Yahshua the Messiah. And so this, this as Adam led the human, human race into death, Yahshua the Messiah has redeemed us and he will give everybody a chance for eternal life. This is fair and this is just and this will vindicate Yahweh's name. So we throw some water, some living water, some truth on the false hellfire doctrine and we say, come out of Babylon, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins nor her plagues, because the truth alone will set us free. The kingdom time is now, and I love you all. Yahweh be with you. Please post questions and comments, concerns. Let's, let's dig into these things. And may this, may this bring joy to those truth seekers, because we are the living, the, you know, we are the children of Yahweh, and the gift of Yahweh is eternal life.